Hello YouTube, I'm going to talk you through the installation of Fluxion 4 and the proper way to do it. This is a Cali Live boot, um, there's no, nothing extra been installed, it's just a fresh boot. So if you copy these steps, you should be up and running in no time. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is install extra packages. If you follow my steps, apt install BC. PHP 7.0 TGI, Light TPD, Host APD, and ISC DHCP Server. Just let that install. Press enter for yes. Just to note, while this is installing, you will need a GitHub account to get this working properly. So make sure you have that done beforehand. Shouldn't be too long now. A lot of people have problems installing this because the PHP does CGI installation. They usually take it literally and try and app get install PHP CGI. Whereas really they should be looking for the version of PHP CGI that's on the Kali Linux repositories and install that like we just have done PHP 7.0 CGI. Okay, now what you need to do is generate an SSH key for it. SSH dash keygen dash T RSA dash B four zero nine six dash capital C and then put in your email. Right, so just press turn, return, return. Okay, now that that's done. Now what you want to do is start the SSH agent in the background. So I type this, eval. Open speech marks, dollar sign, open curvy brackets, SSH dash agent dash S, close curly brackets, close speech marks. Okay, that started its own agent process. Now, you need to add a key to your SSH agent by doing this. SSH dash, sorry, add tilde forward slash dash SSH dash ID under slash RSA. I put it in the appropriate folder. Now your identity has been added. You need to actually copy your public version of your SSH key to copy into your GitHub account. Okay, and there's a few ways to do this. The easiest way to do it is to open it up in gedit. You want to open the same path, so that would be gedit tilde forward slash dot SSH forward slash ID under slash RSA dot pub, because you'll be using your public version of the key. Wait for that to appear, and you want to select all of the text. Like so. Right click, copy, and you can close that now. Now, what we want to do is open our web browser, go to GitHub, GitHub sorry, which I've already done. We want to sign in. Okay.
Oh, Ginny's off forgotten my password. There we go. Or we typed it wrong, whichever. Right. Now just search for Fluxion. It'll be in the Fluxion network. Here's the top link. Yep, there you go. You can click on that. Okay, now we're there. Now, what you want to do is click on your profile icon at the top right here. Click settings. SSH and GPG keys. And then you want to add a new SSH key. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it Fluxion SSH. Now in the key bit below, you want to right click and paste the public key data you've already put in your clipboard. Now press add SSH key. Okay, now that's done. Okay, that's done, so you can close this now. Now, we want to git clone the actual Fluxion data. And to do that, you want to type git clone dash dash recursive. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, git at github dot com colon now you want to capital F for Fluxion capital N for network. I'm not sure if you actually have to do that but I always do so Linux is case sensitive so you probably actually do forward slash fluxion dot git okay just let that clone press yes to accept your new SSH key just let that do it shouldn't take a second oh, 10 seconds Or maybe even 15. Right, yeah, that's done. Okay, just check it. CD into our Fluxian folder. Now start up Fluxian. And there you can see, all working fine. Okay, this is part one of the video. Then part two for the video, I'll show you how to use Fluxian. Um, yeah, thank you, and please subscribe.